And a warrant of arrest has been issued against three directors of Lariag Properties, a company listed as one claiming ownership of a house that was demolished in Westlands, Nairobi County. Police in Nairobi have started a search for the suspects who have been on the run since the demolition took place. Some household items that were stolen during the exercise were recovered at a roadside shop in the capital. Seth Olale with the latest on the Westlands home demolition saga. Barely a week after Nathaniel Kipkemboi Bar Masai, one of the directors of Lariak Properties, which claims ownership of a house that was demolished in Westlands Nairobi, was arrested under rain. A search warrant for the remaining three directors who have been on the run has been issued by the courts. The directors of Lariak Properties, which was registered in 2002 at Samuel Chepkwoni, John Kamaya Rotich, Joel Kiplangat, and Nathaniel Kipkemboi Parmasai. Investigators from the DCI Land Fraud Unit intend on charging the remaining three suspects with malicious damage to property. The case, which also implicates auctioneer Zachary Baraza, who was released on a 200,000 shillings cash bill, will resume next week. Saturday morning, Niraj Shah and his wife Avani Shah led detectives from the DCI Land Fraud Unit to a roadside open shop where house items that were confiscated during the demolition, including window frames and door frames, were recovered. This, even though recovering these items, it's what does it do? Nothing. It doesn't build my house again. I'm still homeless. Yes, I'm still suffering. It's two weeks. Police have launched a manhunt for the owner of the shop, identified as John Mwangi Thuku, who escaped moments before the operation commenced. Files, the land file has missed, the title deeds are missing, so everybody is now worried and everything is starting to hide around. The house items and this vehicle, which was used to transport the goods, were transferred to the DCI headquarters along Kiambu Road. Seth Olale, Citizen TV, Nairobi.